Do you wish that you could have your post automated on your personal Facebook profile? I totally hear you on this. Unfortunately, the platform does not allow us to do so. Yet, I've got a good news for you because in this episode number 103, I'm going to share with you the simple strategy that I use and the tool as well to almost automate my post for my personal profile. So if that's of your, of your interest to you, Stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from ThierryVAlexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so you can attract the best qualified leads for your business and make sure that you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new video training and a freebie attached to it, which is like, a cheat sheet, a PDF, a guide of some sort to empower you in your own way within your business. In this episode number 103, I want to share with you the simplified method that I found in order to plan my post for my personal Facebook profile. Unfortunately, the, pa the platform does not allow us to do that directly on the platform. Yet, we don't have control over this. So we've got to keep control of what we've got control over, which is to simplify the method as much as possible. And the way I, I, did, I, I do go through it is to use a simple tool called Trello. It's not going to automate the publishing of your post on your profile, yet it's going to get very close to it. So let's dive into it together. I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly what I do from the beginning. All right, so as for any platform, you're gonna to have to create your own account with your email address and password. When you're here on Trello.com, you just click on sign up. It will prompt this page where you've gotta enter your best email address. So obviously have an account. So, it is going to redirect me back to this Atlassian or Atlassian uh, account where basically it's a third party that they are uh, using in order to, to log in into Trello. But for you, it's going to take you on to the next step to create your passwords and, and everything to enter into your account. Then you click continue. It's actually going to ask for my password. You're gonna have pretty much the same from here as well. And then it's going to bring you here where you've got your new Trello account. You see that at the top left hand side, you've got a tab called boards. When you click it, it will prompt this. You just need to click on create new board here. And that will be giving you access to this page where you've got to write the name of your board. I personally called it Facebook weekly post. So you just type here, Facebook weekly posts. On the right hand side, you can pick a picture of your choice or a background color. It's up to you. You also, because you created a team uh, throughout the process of logging in normally, which is not really necessary at this point, but you've got to select whether you want it to be this board to be shown to your team, if you want it to even be public, or if you want it to be private, just like mine is, because it's personal, it's for my Facebook personal profile. Then you have to choose whether you want to start with a template. This process will be exactly the same for any boards that you are creating. But for us, we are going to actually customize our own board. So you just need to create to click on create board. I have already created the template here, so I'm going to go directly on it. Team tests. And this is what you're going to see. Now you're going to see exactly the same after you, you type the name of the board you want to create, Facebook weekly post or whatever else you want to create. That's exactly what you have in front of you if everything is all right. In here, you've got the name of the, of the board that you've created and the title you've decided to give, it to, to, to give to it. You've got a team here, which again, 
it should be not connected to this board if you have put private on this section you've got your picture of the the email address that you've selected and linked to it on the right hand side you've got the show board and that gives you information about the board you've got the background that you can change as well photo that are all, and colors that are already into the account customs are only available for paid account i believe You've got the search cards. We're going to go on to the, the, what the card is. Stickers that I've never used, but you can always play around with them. And then you've got some more in here. But again, those we're going to look into that while we are actually going through the creation of your board. And here you've got the link of this board specifically that you can send to people you want to be a member of this board with. After creating your account and your board, it is now time to put the layout of your board together. Trello has specific names for features starting with list and card. A list is like a column which you can create as many of them as you want. But this this is the column, this is the column which is called list as you can see right here, add another list. So this is a column. Okay, in this section, I have created a list or slash column for each day of the week from Monday through Sunday. I titled them with the name of the corresponding day and the type of post I am sharing on that day. So let me show you. Here would be Monday motivation and motivation post and my makeup marketing Monday Facebook live enter then the next one would be tuesday that's the day i'm sharing my blog and then here would be wet wednesday oh, let me just back up wednesday and on wednesday i'm sh i'm sharing uh, let's say a story posts and so on okay then you would create thursday Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? So you've got all your week layout in your board and one day is equal one column. The reason for laying it out this way is so that you can have an overview of your Facebook profile post planning much better and clearer. Now you have what's called a card which is like a tab within the column that you've created. Again, you can create as many cards as you like within each column. In any given column, click on add, on add card, then type what you want to call it. I typically title them with the type of post that it, that it will be or with the action that it is required. For example, Facebook background that I'm going to use, pick a photo, uh, if I didn't pick it yet, but I'll show you how to include it in the, in the card as well, then click on add, okay? So for example, here, I would say live because that's for my makeup marketing, uh, makeup marketing Monday Facebook live. Now you've got the choice. You can either click directly on it or you can click right here, which is going to give you the option on how to, to open it. So you could open card here, but to be quicker, you can just click directly on there and that's going to, that's going to open the card. And as you know, each and every single week, I do equip you with a guide of some sort, which this week, because we're talking about planning your Facebook profile post ahead of time, also going to talk about automation here and there. I want to introduce you to my seven automation tools guide, which is sharing with you all the tools, the seven primary tools that I'm using in my business to have automation in place, which makes my life much easier and make me save time while my business is running and getting bigger than what I used to create before without those tools. So if you want to get access to these seven automation tools guide, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. If you are on my YouTube channel or any other platforms, just check the 
the uh, description section around this video somewhere there will be a link taking you back to my blog once you're there again below this video you'll see a massive yellow button that you cannot miss click it and you'll get the seven automation tools guide right into your email box now that you have created the cards and that you are into the cards we are going to create and schedule your post as you can see you've got the the description section here and this is where i am writing the content of my post just like i would be writing it on facebook directly with the emojis and everything for my facebook live for example however i would actually type the 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 title of the facebook live which let's say it would for example it it could be how to create um, a plan for your Facebook post on personal profile. And then I would add my bullet point, create a trailer board. write your post inside yep you a typo here i'm the king of typos <laughs> add picture if needed schedule the due date copy paste on due dates so i'm writing my bullet points but if you were writing a post i would literally in this section write exactly what is going on facebook and with the same format with e the emojis etc now, on the right hand side in the column, you've got the tab attachments. This is where I'm going to usually take a picture that goes along with the post that I want to share. Yet, that's for a Facebook Live, so I'm not going to have any pictures here. If you scroll down, I oh know, sorry, just above the, the attachment tab, you've got a due date. This is where you're going to set the time. So I'm going to click on the second, you could click on the so i mean on the first and whatever date you pick it's going to be selected over here let's say it's for tomorrow so it's selected over here i want it to be in the morning and yeah 9 29 in the morning and i'm going to send a reminder usually at time of due date because that's when it's happening before facebook lives so maybe you want to be reminded 5 10 15 minutes earlier to have your setup ready and make sure that you are all good to go then you save this now if you scroll down you will see a tab which is which is called watch that you have to click it and the reason for clicking it is that it, this is what's going to actually send you a reminder in your email letting you know that it is time to come and copy paste your your facebook uh, your facebook post on your profile and then you just need to close it and that is ready here and you see it's in yellow which usually it means that it is due in less than 24 hours you've got different colors for different call to action and this is the process that you repeat with all the posts that you want to create let's say now uh, you want to create another post for this on the same day i want to go and put my motivational post on that one so i'm going to click on add card title it this one i'm going to say that i already have a photo but again you could type the title of the post you could do really what whatever you want in here i just tend to call it again the the action to take or the title of the post then i click on it i'm gonna have the description 
of my post, just like I would write it on the on the post. So you are worth it. So go crush it. This is your week. Now you might ask me how I am adding the, the emojis on here. So you can click right on your mouse and that would ask you if you want to add emojis and symbols. That is a way of doing it. Another way that you can do it is by actually typing your posts in the, um, on Facebook or somewhere on your phone and create all the posts and copy paste it, but that would be another step, which is really not required because you can do it right away from here. Um, so let's add this. There we go. Up, oh, I've got my post. I'm going to save it. I'm going to set a due date. That's going to go on to the afternoon at, let's say, 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm going to remind myself on the due date as well. I save it and here I'm going to attach a picture. So I'm going to go into my computer. You can, if you do it from your phone, you can also attach a picture directly from your gallery. So I'm going to add random picture here. Pro tip though, uh, would be to not just copy paste the photo from Trello to Facebook when the time has come to publish your post, but rather take the picture from your album again. Otherwise that photo is going to, uh, otherwise that, that photo on your Facebook post will be a clickable photo and it will redirect people back onto Trello if anyone clicks on it, which is not what you want to do, right? In fact, if there are usually clickable links on Facebook on personal profile, it tends to not give as much visibility to your post as well. So really, truly be careful of that. Uh, just make sure that this is for a reminder to put it in your Trello and then you go back into your gallery and get that photo again. Then I'm scrolling back. I'm scrolling down again. Click on watch. That way it's going to send me a notification on the due date within my email letting me know that I've got to post uh, to publish that post and that's it you see it is done and you can repeat the process if you wanted to create content for weeks on that is the way to do it and you are repeating the process in each and every single column aka date of the week <laughs> for your plan to be ready so here we are, you have set and put everything together now, my friend. The only thing to do is to fill your board in with all your posts, which I tend to do once a week, usually on the weekend, and get the whole next week ready. When this is all done, just you just need to wait for the notification reminders and from within your email. Then you come into your Trello, you copy, paste, and post onto your Facebook profile. That's it. There you have it, my friend. You're all good to go now. And remember though, Facebook is not allowing automation on the, on the personal profile platform. Therefore, this is not going to publish automatically to your personal profile, but it's going to get very close to it. And remember, I've got your back with my seven automation tools guide to help you in your business. If you want to get access to it, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. Did you get value out of this video? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, send it to your fellow micro artists, network marketers, entrepreneurs, whomever you think could benefit from the information that I've shared with you today and how to use a Trello board as well. Question of the week. How often do you schedule your Facebook posts and all the other posts from all other social media platforms that you're dealing with? Do you do it on a, on a daily, weekly, monthly basis? What is it that you do? What's your, tra your strategy behind it? And what does work for you? Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know what is it that you're doing, if it works for you. Maybe I'll try it. 
and give you a shout out for it as well. I've, I'm always very curious about what is it that is happening for others out there and working as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love connecting with you each and every single week. This video training is a wrap, but I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye-bye.